This is a 17-year-old boy who attacked a 15-year-old girl. The results were pretty dramatic, and so is the video of the attack. I got stitches all right here. The violence of the attack yeah. is written all over the face of the victim. It's swollen all the way to like right here is when, no, not even there, right here is where the swelling stops. 15-year-old Kaylee Ketchum is still trying to recover from an eruption of violence that left her beaten and bloody, thrown at her in a flurry of fists, all caught on video. So I was like trying to stop him, I was trying to stop him with my feet, um, my shoes ended up actually coming off. Watch again as the 17-year-old boy unleashes about a dozen punches. It felt like it took an hour for him to stop. I just wanted him to stop. Karina Ketchum is Kaylee's aunt. When he was done using her face as a punching bag, she got up and was shocked. She just could not, you could tell she couldn't believe what just happened to her. Kaylee, a Scott High School freshman, had to go to the emergency room after the assault for treatment. The video we've obtained is 38 seconds long. Before the punches, Kaylee says someone had thrown something at her. The kids were laughing. He's right behind you, do it. In retaliation, she says she dumped some water on the boy she suspected. That's when he began the attack. It hurt really bad, but I was like trying to not cry in front of everyone, so like I didn't cry on the bus. After an incident that took seconds, but left lasting scars. Now, Kenton County Schools released this statement saying, in part, this type of behavior will not be tolerated. We take all incidents like this seriously. The Kenton County School District is following all policies and procedures with the district code of conduct. We're co cooperating with local law enforcement on this investigation. Now, Taylor Mill Police are investigating this. They tell us that they have filed misdemeanor assault charges against a boy. Brian Hemrick, WLWT News 5.